Hey everyone, welcome to Nitty Cat Studio. I'm Cheryl and I'd just like to welcome you to the channel. Uh, it's been a while since I made my last video and I'm sorry for that. Um, I, I do work a full-time job on top of trying to run my Etsy shop, which is Nitty Cat Studio. And I've just opened um, an eBay store and it's called Fat Cat Finds. And um, yeah, so... I've been kind of busy, but uh, I will try and get more video content out there. So that's what I'm here for today. I uh, just wanted to share a, a Goodwill find, and it is shockingly, uh, it's a sewing machine. I know, like, I need another one, but I kind of feel like, I don't know, I feel like I see these, these machines sitting there and... I don't know, they need a home. I feel bad for them. <laughs> so, um, but I also think it's a challenge. Like, do they still work? What's going on with them? Why, why did they put it in, you know, send it to Goodwill? Is there something wrong with it or not? So for me, it's kind of worth the money to find out. And while I'm, I do have a collection, um, to be honest, when, when I have a friend or someone that needs a machine, um, you know, I'm like, yeah, I have one here. It works and go ahead, you know, because I just, I love to see people sew and get into all that. So for me, it just, it kind of just does my heart good for that. So anyway, um, so anyway, yeah, um, we're in Goodwill and there's this machine and it's sitting there and it has, um, it has like a machine cover, um, on it and it's, obviously doesn't fit it quite fit it so uh we're kind of like i don't know i'm peeking underneath and um and it's a janome so i was pretty excited and so yeah i'm gonna just you know i haven't i haven't really done anything with it i haven't even taken the tag off of it um but i did look up the the manual uh, i just wanted to kind of see the model and etc like you know see the manual on it so Anyway, I'm going to turn the camera around and then we're going to check it out together. So we'll see if this machine can, I don't know, be saved, be worth it. I don't know. Um, I paid uh, $15 for it. So we'll see. All right. So this is how I found it. it has a brother um, cover on it. And, but this is it. And... You guys don't mind my background here. It's my drawing table. And uh, I mean, I'm telling you, I'm rearranging stuff. I'm trying to organize and combine a craft room with an office, with a studio, uh, art studio. And anyway, so here I am. And I, I still need to paint. I need to paint the walls and the trim in here. So I've been working on it. But uh, I need to get done and get going with that. So that's just another thing on my plate that I have going uh, so but anyway all right so we're gonna go ahead and take off the tag there and well this is it it's a, a Janome um, right here's the model DC 10 2010 C 2010 and it looks like I mean it's a little dirty um, probably need some cleaning for sure but it doesn't look too bad uh, let's get this off Ooh. all right I'll have to check and see what's in there okay and it came with the the foot and it came with a cord and an extension table paper it says wide table but I don't think so and I'll be honest I think this probably belongs to a brother because yeah I have enough brother machines so I know that's probably what that goes to so I'm going to just set that aside I mean I'll try to see if it fits but um, I doubt it Okay, so we'll set that down and I just want to see if it's going to go up and down. Too 
seems like it is. All right. Well, a little light here. My lighting's awful in here today. I'm sorry. It's dark outside too, but I'll have to get, I'm not really not set up for doing video right now. Okay, here we go. Um, oh, I forgot to tell y'all too. Uh, I found a, oh, a walking foot on here, which is good. It's, I mean, it's good for uh, sewing through thick fabrics and kind of keeps it, it nice. But when I opened up the case here, this other little case right here, there wasn't anything in it but the foot right here. So, yeah. Uh, and now I'm going to go ahead and turn it on. I've got it plugged in. And here we go. It's quiet. It's kind of quiet. And definitely dusty. Um, I don't know. I, I guess I'm going to go ahead and just see. I have a little bit of fabric here. I'm going to go ahead and raise the presser foot up and see what we got. I fold it over double. Okay. There we go. Ooh. Oh, it's making it's making some sort of a noise here. I don't know why. Um so that should be the speed. Number one should be straight stitch. Okay, that moves the needle over. It's going to have to be in the middle with that on. Oh, yeah, that is, let's see. Maybe it's not gripping. Um, no, I pull it a little bit. Okay, it's moving now. Hmm. Not too bad. We can see that. I'm sorry my lighting is horrible, guys. I brought my hot light over here. <laughs> see if we can see. Yeah. Well, that might be a little better. I'm going to move the camera in a little bit, too, so you guys can see. Hold on. Well, that ain't bad, guys. Look here. Oh, I think that would cut. <laughs> I don't think it's cutting. All right. Well, it's a little tight, I think. But yeah, it's not bad. I got to work with the tension a little bit. Oh. a little bit and see if that helps okay uh let's see what we're gonna do oh i was gonna bring it in a little bit the camera hold on it's not all the way in here come on okay here we go I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try not to bump, 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 bump the camera. There we go. Maybe that's a little too much. Um, let me go ahead and. Reverse works. All right. Pop this off. And we'll take a look. I don't know. What do you think? That's 
oven. I don't know. I think it's pretty good. I do. I'm going to definitely clean it. But I don't know. What do you guys think? For $15, it might not be so bad. It's, it seems really quiet. It's smooth. Um, yeah, I think I'm, I think I might have picked a good one here. And honestly, you don't always come across really, you know, fancy or nice machines, um, in a Goodwill. A lot of times I, I always find just, you know, they're old Kenmore's from maybe the seventies or early eighties. I find a lot of those. Um, so, you know, you don't always find a, a, a really good find like this, but when I do, I'm going to share it with y'all. And actually, I do have another machine that I haven't even looked at yet. And I, I had got it previous um, to this one. I haven't had time to do it, but I will. I think I'm going to go ahead and um, pull that one up and we'll make a video of that one and see how that one does. So you'll have to wait to find out what the make of that is on the next video. So I will see you all next time. Bye-bye.